next step in this fretting process is to go ahead and tune up these fret ends. And I wanted to give you a close-up shot of, of what the process looks like. The file that I use is one we've developed here in the shop. It's a square file, but it has a safe ground bottom with sharp edges. So basically it can glide along the fingerboard without damaging it, but also get very close to the bottom right in the corner there of the fret. And the top is also safe ground, but it's got a rounded corner. So when you go up and over the top of the fret, when you come down the other side and possibly hit the binding or the fingerboard, you don't cause a nick in it. So let me show you what the process looks like. You glide this file right on the fingerboard, right into the fret, push forward, go up and over. And a lot of times I'll go twice, just for a smoother fret. Once you get rolling with this, the choreography is actually pretty smooth. And what I like to do is I like to do all of one side of a fret, all the way up the neck, and then I'll come back and do the other side and come up and over from the opposite direction. A few times during the process you probably run into a situation that forces you to change the, the approach, how you're doing the fret ends. In this case, I'm more comfortable doing the, the uh, base side like so, but I run into the body and it just makes it too hard to do this. So I'll switch around to this angle and I'll come downhill on the fret and up and over. One thing that I do, and it's just a matter of personal habit, you'll find what's comfortable for you, is when I'm doing, when I'm heading back this way on, on this side of the fret, I like to do all of them in this direction. It's just a matter of being right-handed and what I'm more comfortable with. So I'll approach each particular side of each fret a certain different way, just with what's comfortable with my hands. So for the entire fingerboard, the motion will be like this. And I just find it very comfortable. Very fluid for me. It's a good idea to occasionally take a, uh, a brush and scrub the debris from the nickel silver fret wire out of the file. And you want to use a brass brush. You don't want to use stainless or regular steel because you'll dull the file. 